Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. Welcome back to uh, Bomberman Hero. Going to Clown Valley? Yep. That doesn't sound pleasant. Yeah, I guess what's in it? Valleys. Geo, dude. Oh, it's Geo, bro. Oh, this one rolls at you. He rolls? Yeah. Oh, no. He's not that bad. By the way, if you've noticed, your bomber and firepower and stuff are at zero. I mean, at one. It's like, yeah, because this is a new recording session, which means oh, I, I turned I turned off the game, so I have four hit points again, and I have one bomb power and one bomb thing, yeah. It's the Nintendo 64. It can't store things whenever the thing's not on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, um... Oh. The funny thing is, because, you, you know, we feel like we, we've moved past cartridges in the video game industry, you know? Yeah. But they're still the best There's way to play... Clown. They're still the best way to play games on, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. He'll get out of there. Just throw at him. There you go. Oh, he's kind of hard to hit. Especially since I only have one firepower. Yeah. Uh, and now he's going to throw knives at me. But cartridges Ow. are still the best way to put games on, like, mobile platforms, like the 3DS and everything. Yep. Okay, good. Because the PSP, you know, had the little, little snazzy discs, the UMDs. Yeah. I thought we were really cool, but you know, noticed how they always had like long load times and everything. Yeah. It was because it was trying to read from a disc instead of just reading from, you know, a static cartridge. Like, and that's why they went back to cartridges with the Vita. Except the Vita cartridges are way too tiny. Yeah, they're extremely small. Very easy to lose. I've never lost one, but I mean, whenever my dad first got his truck, I was playing uh, a game on my Vita, and whenever I went to like take it out you know yeah. how it's spring loaded yeah it like shot the game out and it went into the crack of the seat uh -huh. and it was like it was the back seat and behind that was just the bed of the truck so we couldn't like lift up the seat or anything oh so we're just like trying to find who which of us has the smallest <laughs> arms to reach down into the seat and feel around blindly to see if we can find the cartridge it took us like 20 minutes to find it. I thought I was just gonna have to buy a new copy of the game. I was like, well, what it's game? gone forever. What game was it? Um, I think it was Persona 4. Damn it. Which made me angry because, you know, I had, like, a lot of progress on that cartridge. Yeah. I guess that's one of the upsides and downsides of cartridges. Okay. But, like... You can make backup saves, though. Yeah. Believe. But, like, with the 3DS, you know, all the saves are still on the cartridges. Right. And oh, no. And for most Vita games, it's also on Ooh. the cartridge. Even though you're paying, like, a ridiculous amount of money for the freaking proprietary Vita memory cards. Like, That's true. If I'm going to pay for these memory cards, I just want everything to be on it. I want to at least get my money's worth. Get him. Nice. I haven't hit him. You haven't hit him? Yeah, there. there okay, now he's dead. Okay, another would you, one. Would you consider clowns a phobia for you, Caleb? Uh, not really. I just don't like them. I'm not afraid of them. I just don't like them. I feel you on that. That's where, kind of where I'm sitting at. It's like, you I've never that. seen... I'm sorry, I didn't mean... No, not you. This guy <laughs> right here. Okay, he's dead. I've never seen a clown and been, like, frightened for my life or anything, but... Right. I just, I don't care for them. They are I'm creepy. Good. I'll give them that. Nice. But Kayla, we didn't get all the points. We got 50 more than we needed. Yeah, because there's that nebula thing in the state. Okay, Great Rock. Great Rock! We're going up a mountain. Up a mountain? Yep. Be careful. There's a, that's a tree monster. Is, that, is this going to be like that level on Sumar? Uh, yep. Tree monsters are the worst. Yeah, because, I mean... It's like nature out to kill you right there. Yeah, I mean, trees are so gentle. Mm -hmm. All they do is stand there and give you life. I mean, if it reminds me, because, you know, in uh, Greek mythology, there are dryads. And um, I know that, like, if you were to, like, mess with nature or a tree... I mean, they're supposed to be gentle creatures, but if you mess with, like, nature or the tree they belong to, like, they will get rather rough with you. <laughs> Possibly kill you. They won't be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Oh gosh, I'm trying. To, I was thinking of something. Oh okay. It's left me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's, it's still there. <laughs> it's on the tip of my lip. Oh, yeah. bamboo. Yeah. Um, that's not a peaceful tree. They proved on. Uh, I think it was MythBusters. They like proved that a form of torture that they used to use was planting a bamboo tree 
yeah. like underneath someone, and then the bamboo oh, is yeah. so. Oh god! The bamboo is like so tenacious in its growing that it like most trees would grow around you. Like yeah. once they meet resistance, they grow the other way. But bamboo will just grow straight up and just go through you slowly as it keeps growing. That's very disturbing. Yeah. But, I mean, it's torture, so it's not supposed to be pretty. They tested it on Adam. That was the last episode he was in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's name was Gerald. This is his brother. Oh. Why, why is he named... Get him! Why is your name that? Why not? Because, you know, that's my uncle's name. I didn't even remember that. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me that. <laughs> Caleb's uncle has a very, very sultry voice. Don't, no, don't, <laughs> don't! If you're gonna bring up your uncle, I'm gonna bring up no. his voice. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why, I mean, like I said before, I've known him for, like, you know, my entire life, so it's nothing that special to me, but apparently you just love it. He has a great voice. It's like the frosting on a nice Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did I, mean, I you just him? gotta appreciate ah. a good voice. Like, M Morgan Freeman's got a good samurai. voice. Um, John Goodman's got a good voice. I was just, John Goodman was already on my mind, so I'll, I'll say John. Who's John Goodman again? He's the guy that voiced Sully. Okay, okay. That's and, uh, I guess that'd be the thing you'd know, know most from. And, uh... I guess I got everything? I might have missed something. On the other hand, Billy Crystal does not have a... Who plays Mike Wazowski. He does not have the most sultry <laughs> voice. <laughs> a funny man, but yes, very. He was he was one of those ones. You know how they have a lot of people on Saturday Night Live that are, aren't aren't on it very Ooh. well, or aren't on it very long, Dang. but then they go on to do a lot of other stuff. Yeah, because uh, Chevy Chase was on Saturday Night Live. For oh a my little gosh! Bit. <laughs> yes, uh, go keep going. Bill Murray was on Saturday. No. Night Live. <laughs> Uh, Chris Rock was only on Saturday Night Live for a little bit, and a lot of people didn't think he was very funny. Right. Because it just wasn't his gig. And then, of course, now he's a very successful actor. He hosted okay, the, yeah. the, yeah, the right. Academy Awards. I did it! You did it! Don't be I so proud of yourself. Fog route. Fog route. I... <laughs> okay. This, uh, obviously, it's, there's a fog. Ooh, these guys. These, those guys are basically like... The goons of the main antagonist. <laughs> just the cannon fodder. Yeah, pretty much. That one Pokemon you have in your team that just knows HM moves <laughs> and you just throw them out whenever you need to heal other Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Wobbuffet. Jeez. It's like, go Wobbuffet! And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a secret path over there? What? That square. It seems to kind of stick out. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah. I can try blowing it up. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Look Man. at you! Oh, it's because I got Dark Souls on my mind. <laughs> and Dark Souls. Oh no, like, these guys! It's like that's a suspicious <sighs> looking wall. Why don't I whack it and maybe there's something behind it? Is that a totem shooting bombs at you? Oh no. Oh no. Are those spikes making a gunshot noise? Yes, they are! <laughs> what? But, um, I don't think I can. Yeah, okay, what you do is. You... Okay, yeah. <laughs> You gotta get, like, near them, and then they'll try and topple on top of you. Oh, uh, okay, so your bomb didn't do that, they just fell over. Yeah, they just fall over. What a smart enemy. Yeah. Well, I guess Thwomps is kind of the same principle. Uh, uh, okay, th Oh, dear. Thwomps are the ones that just oh. go straight down, right? Thank you. Thwomps are just the ones that go straight up and down, right? Uh, I I can I can I can't clarify that. I get thwomps and womps mixed up all the time. I'm pretty sure thwomps are the ones that just go up and down, and womps are the ones that walk. Cause I'm pretty sure it's womps fortress. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty sure. I'm going off of your word because I don't know. <laughs> if you know in the comments section below, please <laughs> talk to us. <laughs> We're in a dying relationship, but please, please just talk to me. Oh, uh, that little punk. Oh, now you're dead. Boop! You should've... Should've, uh... By the way, uh... I've been dead. Yeah, bombless pit. So... Everywhere. Yeah. What's that? It's a safety vest. Okay. It, look, it just looks like ribs. Oh. And like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's yeah. so cheap! Gotta be careful with those gun spikes. Mm. You know what's a good show? 
What? Try again. Are you kidding me? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> Are you kidding me? That show sucks! <laughs> I realize that bad stuff happens to me, right, like at good timing to where it seems like I'm answering a question of yours. <laughs> It's like, hey, Caleb, what do you think of me? Ah, you suck! <laughs> oh. Come on, but, ah. Fall, fall. There you go. <laughs> Help, I've fallen, I can't get up. <laughs> Ooh. You should add life alert. All senior citizens oh, wait, should I think, have life alert. I think there's a mid-boss at the end of the stage. Yep. Oh, no. It's engine. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's got that big eyeball. Ow! Thing. Okay, that's bad. Oh, he looks like a little core dude from uh, the 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 radius. Yeah, there I was gonna go. say Tetris. Tet? <laughs> I was like missing. <laughs> I was like mixing Tetris and Gradius. I was like, you know, you know Tetris. Oh, you? You just kind of. <laughs> there you go. What is he spinning? Is that? It's like balls of electricity, balls of energy. Energy. Extra energy. <laughs> There's this, uh, little, is a that was a Little Big Planet 2 level, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I believe it was on Little Big Planet 2. It was a Little Big Planet 2 level. It was really good. It was, yeah, it was, it's a community level, so someone made it. It was, uh, oh, There nice. we go. It was like a, a vertical spaceship shooter. It was vertical, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was like, uh, it was like a, a first-person shooter-esque type thing. Oh, yeah, thing. I forgot. Oh, yeah, it was like a little on-the-rails type thing. Nice. Did it. Um, but... It had like voiceovers, and it was this guy who had this. I don't know whether it was an accent or it was just like. It was like. It was a deep accent. Yeah. And, and when you got certain power ups, he would just be like, extra energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. Very nice to listen to. He has a sultry voice. <laughs> Alright, whenever we come back, we're gonna fight Endol. Yep. I thought it said Endor at first. So we're going to the planet from the beginning of Return of the Jedi. Spoiler alert for Return of the Jedi. It's from the. It's one of those movies where it's old enough <laughs> where, like, if you haven't seen the third Star Wars, get on the, get on the bandwagon already. All right, see you next time. Bye, everybody. See ya!